Kenobi's corner. Kenobi's corner. Kenobi's corner. Do you want me to get that top? What top? Shut up, man. That's so damn ridiculous. <laughs> I will. I've wanted that top for like a year since I found that site. No, no, you haven't. Yeah, dude. No, you haven't. Yes, I swear. John, it's you been seem a year. Like a smart man sometimes, and <laughs> this is one of those moments where I gotta say, no, don't, dude. But that top looks awesome, dude. And they have all the different kind of metals. They have a tungsten one. But I the tungsten know the one's like metals that you're talking $70 about. $70 for the tungsten one. Oh, sweet Jesus, John. <laughs> like, okay. What's the problem I know you with made, that, I know you man? Made, I know you make some cash. You know, you, you have cash. But really, don't like. don't make that much cash. Okay. Then even, even more so now. <laughs> like, you shouldn't waste it on a damn top. Like, that's, that's just silly. I don't even know what to tell you. Uh, tell me it's okay. No, I will not. Because <laughs> it's not okay. Hello and welcome to Kenobi's Corner. This is Eric. This is my partner in crime, Jonathan. Yo. Criminals. <laughs> I didn't know when we turned criminales, <laughs> but here we are. But mostly we're here to talk to you about movies, TV shows, video games, and comics based on sci-fi, fantasy, and all in, everything in between. <laughs> See, I started off good because I started reading what we typed out, but then at the end I kind of went off. So It's sorry. okay. You try to wing it. I try to wing it, and that's what happens when... You, right. You try yeah. to just flow, just let the chips fall where they may. I mean, you won't even let me do the intros anymore because I was just winging it. Yeah, no, no, because you wrote it out and then you would write it and it was there and then you would just wing it. And I was like, why even write it out if you're not even going to look at what you're saying? So Sometimes you so, just got to do that though, man. Like sometimes you just got to wing it. Well, you, you know? do the outros and I think that's pretty good. Okay, just winging it. Yeah, just winging those outros. You know? That's what you got to do, man. Angels man. in the outfield style. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn it, this week. Slow news week, I think. Slow everything week. Slow everything, except for work. Work has been crazy. Yeah. Ugh. But I think that's, that's how it problem. goes. Yeah, that, that's how it goes. <laughs> Let's talk about some things we missed. Like last week, man, we we jumped in it too early. Well, you know what? We're recording at a regularly scheduled time this, this week that we, that we usually, you know, we usually post up Thursday evenings, you know, to try to try to knock out a, an episode here and there. But the last couple of weeks... John yeah. was out on vacation. I was out. Yep. You know, both our significant others had birthdays, and then John had a birthday. Yeah. So my work significant other had a birthday. <laughs> 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 so it, it just you know it, it all played out. So uh, you know. Yeah, we just we just missed a lot of stuff that happened the rest of the week when mm-hmm. we were out and about after we recorded super early in the week. Yeah. So that's yeah. what happens though. It's okay. Hey. It's not bad. Sometimes you got to do that a little bit, you know? Yeah, no, we, we just try to still crank them out, you know, get everybody <laughs> taken care of. Yeah. Making sure your families are doing good. Right. You know, you got to do it. Yes. Um, Agreed. But yeah, like, well, while we're out, man, it seemed like we just talked about uh, somebody passing away the other day and then again hit us while we were gone. Yeah. Gene Wilder, man. Yeah. Starting off on a sad note, I'm sorry. Yeah, wait. Like- all the time, Dean. I know. So you do. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I could have oh. put it any other way, but I don't. I, I don't. You know. I. I think we should talk about it. I mean, I, it's. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't. I. It's just one of those people that's just. I, iconic, like in the stuff he did, and I mean, I, th- I think people, or he paved the way for a lot of people to do some of the stuff that, that they're doing. I mean, for me, because I really am. I, I enjoy the sci-fi. Uh, adventure slide act, action stuff even like a lot more than i like anything else and mm-hmm. uh dude young frankenstein was one of the coolest oh, movies yeah. <laughs> to me all time dude that movie is so awesome it's like great comedy but frankenstein is really sci-fi one of the first sci-fi things i think that mm. we have on record and and book form and for them to do like <laughs> such a cool riff on it and, and yeah. uh <laughs> It was awesome, awesome, awesome movie, and I loved what he does in that movie. That's probably like my favorite Gene Wilder movie. So really, yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Right no, it's definitely up there. I mean, 
really, I think mine is still Blazing Saddles. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like that Young Frankenstein is absolutely. And then Willy Wonka. Just, you yeah. know, actually, you know what? It, it, top three, it has to be Young Frankenstein and then Blazing Saddles and then Willy Wonka. Just because he just Dude, did it amazing. It. Like, creep oh. the hell out of everybody. Dude, you he know? killed it. That scene yeah. where he gets angry. Like in Willy Wonka, dude, yeah. that was like it touched my soul. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> just like whoa, I was like, oh what happened? God. It took a turn. <laughs> gonna put something in all our candy. Stop it, <laughs> dude. It was so good. I don't. I don't think I had ever really. I watched it when I was young enough that I, I don't recall it ever seeing anybody get that angry before or like oh, yeah. really like show that kind of passion even with their anger. And so mm. it like really caught me off guard. I was like, whoa, that was yeah. a that was pretty crazy, but. Yeah, yeah, man. I don't know. I don't know what it is about Young Frankenstein, too. And you know what, dude? I know people love Blazing Saddles. Yeah. It's just a little too racist for me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't do it. I, just, I can't find it as funny, I think, as some other people do. But It's pretty good. I mean, and he plays the drunken, uh, oh, I think he plays Billy the Kid, uh, who's, like, just wasted. Like, he's older now, and he's just, alcohol's taking over his life, and he just plays a good drunk dude. But yeah, I think it's still funny, man. Yeah, it's I mean, it's good. not bad. I mean, I'm not going to blame anybody for liking it, but yeah, <laughs> dude, just for, for myself, I just can't, <laughs> just can't do it. <laughs> uh, it's not as bad as you think. Uh, no, actually, know, maybe. it's pretty bad. It's actually it's pretty bad. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Well, yeah. Well, also, um, other than that, uh, we had some uh, on a positive spin uh, announcement for season two of uh, Stranger Things. <sighs> that was. Dude. I'm glad. I'm glad it finally came out. Yeah, I'm glad they finally announced it. You know what's um, weird is I, I know we feel the same way about it. Like, man, it, it, they finally did it. They finally were like, what was taking them so long? It's only been about a month, man, since it I mean, like it, it's like I two know. months since it originally came out, and right? and everybody's just like, nope, we want more. Yeah, and absolutely. Like it's yeah. There's I, I think, so many questions, and the way yeah. they do it is so amazing. Just you know. Um, I think they had to have felt pressure to announce it already, like oh, or yeah. to get a contract done for season two, just because of how like the fan reacted to it. It was just crazy reaction. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen anything be reacted that way before. Yeah, like there's been some stuff that has gotten close that every time that this happens, you know, that something else reacts or gets a huge reaction from people. Mm-hmm. It really seems like oh, like okay, like that's the new reaction standard of like what's the craziest reaction to yeah. anything. And dude, this one just like it seemed like teared everything or tore everything else down. Like yeah, no, like it's ridiculous. Uh, probably Lost. Lost was a good sci-fi one yeah. that a lot of people got behind really quickly. Uh, but it really didn't start picking up steam until maybe like the second season, maybe. Yeah, you know, but or the, even by like the end of the first season. Yeah, I you know to be honest, to completely honest, I don't even think I watched. An episode of Loss until the fifth season. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, so we, I got to the game super late, but I marathoned the hell. Like I think Hulu was just coming out at that time. Oh yeah, and it was like ABC was one of the first, I guess, real sh- yeah networks on there. So. They're one of the partner networks. Yeah. So so and then I just marathoned like one oh. through five. Whoa! And I was just like, oh my god, when is season <laughs> six coming out? <laughs> How does it all end? Why do they go back? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I remember we watched. We marathoned the first two seasons right before the third season started. Oh, yeah. Because we had a couple of friends who'd bought the, the, the DVD sets. Yeah. Like, they bought the DVD sets, and we just, like, went through every single one, like, um, right before it came out. Because they were like, you guys have to watch it with us. And uh, so they came over to, like, our house. Like, so me and my wife and a couple of friends, like, just sat there and watched, like, two seasons worth of episodes in, like, two weeks. Damn. Yeah. No, you That's know that lot. show is, like... Oh, yeah, no. It's, like, 23 episodes a season or something. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah, an hour long, and, yeah. like, it's not, like, an easy watch. <laughs> oh, no. It's Evangela Lily crying every episode. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's pretty much watch. what it was. Yeah. <laughs> Those polar bears. Yeah. <laughs> smoke <laughs> monsters. Dude, and then, oh, and then it just came out also. I'm glad we're talking about this because it just came out that one of the original writers of the show was uh, was stating that, oh, man, I got to find that link. And if I find it, I'm going to put it put it in our <laughs> description. But he was stating that, hey, my button's on the button. Uh, <laughs> he wasn't saying well, my button. Well, stop undressing, man. Stop. Yeah. Cut that out. I don't know. The put that back of, on. <laughs> the top button on my blouse just came open. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Or button up t-shirt. It's either <laughs> you, you can say either one. <laughs> well, anyway, anyway, they they uh, one of the writers of Lost came out and was saying that they just wrote stuff to see what like what craziness they could write and see you know how what, much they could get away with. Or yeah, what? pretty much. Oh man. Uh, so a lot of this stuff isn't wasn't gonna like loop back around. They didn't care about closing the loop on a lot of that stuff. Yeah, I just wanted so, to go crazy. Yeah. So I was like, damn it. Dude. Damn it, damn it, guys. So, um, that's awesome, but yeah, um, Lost, uh, was it what was another big show that you watched like back then? Like, what do you think? Like, had a huge, no. huge fan, like, um, like the biggest reception you kind of talk about, or yeah, yeah, well, because I remember Battlestar Galactica had a huge following, yeah, and uh, you see, but all those, I don't remember them ever getting, and I think it's because you know, it's it's. A product of like now modern day where Stranger Things we got all eight episodes for the whole mm-hmm. first season like straight up and you could marathon it within a week. Yeah. Where stuff like that like Battlestar Galactica and Lost and everything I mean you're watching one episode and mm-hmm. you gotta wait a week for the next episode and you gotta wait yeah. a week for the next episode. Um, dude so that stuff like took forever for it to build up and get momentum. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe Battlestar Galactica because that first episode is almost movie length. Yeah. You know that that's a really long one. Yeah, and I still know a bunch of guys that are just like BSG man all the way. Yeah, you know? <laughs> damn those Cylons, you know. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I still yeah. say frack for everything. Frack. Oh so. <laughs> man, dude, I think the f- best video and probably like one of the ones that like I'll always go back to is just like the summation of. I think seasons one through four of Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. And uh, it's <laughs> like uh, seasons one through four in like 10 minutes or whatever. Yeah. And so they're just really going through everything. And uh, yeah, it, it's an awesome watch on YouTube. If you enjoy Battlestar Galactica and, you, and you've seen that summary, check it out on YouTube. It's pretty good. <laughs> um, that's awesome. But yeah, I, I think that's, that's something like the waiting for the next episode. Or yeah. The next, it gave people a time to like really talk about like what they just saw, like just like The Walking Dead. Like when we watch it, it gives us time to kind of process and be like, "Oh, damn, it's still like we got to wait forever for yeah. it to come out." Yeah, and, and kind of build that. But here, turning it up on its ear, Stranger Things <laughs> has built like this huge following and this huge community just off these eight simple episodes of Dude. just great storytelling and episodes that everybody marathon like yeah. ev- i don't know a single person that was like oh i watched like one a day you know yeah. for like 8 days like everyone was like oh that. man i watched like four of them last night you yeah. know like- <laughs> <laughs> so i'm really hoping that they're able to keep up that momentum in, in season 2 which they've set a super high bar for themselves yeah. which is almost shooting themselves in the foot and being like you yeah. know, can it keep going? And most things uh, on their sophomore effort can't do that. You know, yeah. You know, so, um, I'm I'm excited for it, but I don't want to put it on too high of a pedestal where I'm going to be disappointed. You right. know, I just really want to just enjoy it and just do yeah. It. And yeah. who knows when it's going to come out? They they came out with the list of I think was it nine or eight nine episodes nine episodes. They gave us the titles for each. You know, there there's some new characters that are confirmed that are coming out and going to play, uh, going to be a part of the ep- the show. Yeah. So we'll see how those characters play out. And and again, it's a year later. Right. And kids are a little bit older. You know, they've been killing it on like the uh, Dude, <laughs> the yeah. promo tour. Yeah, I want that's why I want to put one of these links in there. Um, for. Uh, Stranger Strings. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I love what Jimmy Fallon does. Jimmy Fallon is probably one of the funnier guys like that has been on Late Night that I can recall. And yeah. one that I'm like, I want to watch Jimmy Fallon whenever he's got somebody interesting on, especially. Yeah. Like, yeah. even even when he does has people that I don't really care about, I'm like... Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll check it out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but dude, with this one, when I when I heard that they were gonna, he was gonna have the kids from Stranger Things, I was like, yes, please, yes. <laughs> nice. And dude, and that that game that he played with them, like it's cool. We'll put a well. Thankfully, Jimmy Fallon puts everything on YouTube. So yeah, we'll, most we'll things he does, he's pretty good about it. Yeah, yeah. Not him personally. I'm pretty sure he doesn't post. Oh it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's gotta yeah. be his team, right? <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's him, you never know. Yeah, he could be doing that every Even night. Him. Bringing it, uh, bringing it up, editing you know, his own edit. videos, posting them on YouTube. <laughs> got to get it in, you know. <laughs> right, exactly, man. Got to do the work. Got to put in the groundwork. Um, but yeah, man, that, that was awesome. I love. I, I've fallen in love with those kids. Like <laughs> those kids are awesome. <laughs> They're really cool. So the the Stranger Strings, like what was? Uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, what was it about, man? If you want to kind of. So the summary of the game that they played was. Uh, all of them wrote something that was kind of strange or crazy about themselves. Um, and then they put it in a pile and then each person read it and then they would have to guess 
and then they try to guess who it was that that wrote the thing. They would then shoot silly string <laughs> to at the person that they thought that that was. Nice. So it was cool, man. It was a fun little a fun little segment. The interview par- portion is pretty cool too. Um, I don't know if we'll put a link to everything. We can find links to everything. Yeah. Try to post on there. So if we don't post it, I'm sorry, it's because we couldn't find a link to it. Yeah. Um, but and then they also <laughs> did like a like a little pre thing. Uh, them kind of going back over to. Uh, like they're in the set playing uh, Dungeons and Dragons, like I guess after like Will's been found. Yeah. Um, uh, and it was cool. It was just a cool little skit that they did. So that was really awesome. Jimmy Fallon plays uh, plays Barb on that. That so is amazing. It was cool. <laughs> oh, no, he doesn't play Barb. I'm sorry. He plays Steve. Oh, the, the, the tall uh, dude? Yes. Who plays Barb? I don't even know. I need to rewatch the episode. I can remember. I was too infatuated with the kids. Yeah. kids are awesome. Um, anyway. Netflix also had a show with uh, Chelsea Handler, and they came out on her show. Oh, really? Yeah. And uh, they were just talking about, like, how they think, like, season two is going to be. And oh, and awesome. she was just like, yeah, you know, just if you haven't seen Stranger Things, then this is spoilery. But uh, this is just like she was just like, hey, y'all are awesome. I just want y'all to know that Barb's still alive. And so they had Barb, the character who played yeah. Barb, the the the, girl, the actress that played Barb, come out and give them like a birthday cake because it was one of their birthdays or whatever. Oh, that's so awesome. it was like a little surprise. So we'll put the the link to that video in there also. That's really but they're, cool. They're really like killing it on the on the promo circuit and just right. You I know. think everybody's like you know I I'm close to what I am. <laughs> like they just really fell in love with those kids, man. Those yeah, were awesome. They did such a good job. Well, cool. I, like it. I like it. I do too. Can't um, wait for the next one. On to the next one. Oh, okay, dude. Did you, okay, so I didn't even know this to come out. Eric showed it to me. Yes. <laughs> oh man, I don't even. I don't even know what like what I was doing when I saw it come out. Like, I think I was just like flipping through YouTube, just you Random. know, right before I go to sleep, just just checking it out. <laughs> you know. Uh, the wife's watching uh, uh, American Crime <laughs> on Netflix, <laughs> and I'm you know, just flipping through YouTube channels and trying to find something. And then I came across this video, which was amazing. It was which it was the video that came out during the what? San Diego Comic Con? It was where was Thor during Civil War, <laughs> and uh, Team Thor. It, it was titled, uh, and it's an amazing piece of promotion for Thor Ragnarok. Oh. I think. Oh my god, it's Dude, just, just to create <laughs> buzz around it. It's so freaking cool, man. Like, yeah. um, and you know, I didn't even realize because it's the same director that did. Uh, uh, oh, what we do in the shadows, right? Yes. Okay, so and he's doing the whole Ragnarok movie, right? And then this is shot kind of the same and with the same feel as what we do in the shadows, but it's Thor. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. So it's uh, so good. Uh, Taika Watiti, I think is his name, the director's name. Yeah, yes. Taika Watiti. Uh, and so he's, oh man, he just does so much great things. Like, and his, it's that, that, it's that that's mockumentary his, style that he puts like a really cool signature on. It's yeah, really it, funny, and it really man. follows in that same vein of what we do in the shadows. Of yeah, like, <laughs> like, and it's so great that <laughs> just like Chris Hemworth, just like he just buys into it. He's just fully into character, <laughs> and he's fully into Thor's character, but then also into like how. Like they, he would be. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I you, completely agree. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the perfect mix of like Chris Hemworth, Chris Hemsworth and Thor. Like yeah. all mixed into one. It was so good. It was so damn good. And <laughs> just, you know, uh, <laughs> was like, uh, dear Captain America, remember that time I uh, <laughs> tricked you into killing those villagers and you didn't want me to tell the other Avengers? <laughs> If you have any other secrets, you know, <laughs> that you don't want anybody to know, let me know. I'm not really doing anything right now, you know. But, oh, oh, my gosh. Man. It's just so damn good. Like, I just, everything about <laughs> it, just like the little, uh, and there's really attention to detail of, like, him. Like, so basically it's Thor, uh, like, after the events of... Um, Age of Ultron, he right. kind of tries to go back and find himself, and he comes back to <laughs> Earth to to live with somebody, so to, right. to kind of get a feel for the people. So Thor, Odin's son, moves in with Daryl Jacobson. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> and it's, so so, it's good. amazing. Just like Daryl's like vacuuming around the house and he hits <laughs> Mjolnir. Mjolnir. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, damn it, just come on. Like <laughs> He can't move it. Uh, oh <laughs> man. Stuck. It's just oh, so man. good. Just uh it's it's really cool. We'll have to put a link in the description because that's really that's something that I think people should watch. People can appreciate it. Yeah. In the meantime, while Thor Ragnarok comes out, like it'd be yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's, it's definitely oh man. It, and so if, if you enjoy that, you'll definitely enjoy what we do in the shadows. Yes. And then it definitely Taika's other work is uh, with uh, uh, the Flight of the Concords. Um, yes. Yeah. So if you like that, and then you you might enjoy that as well. So it goes a little bit more in depth than Flight of the Concords. So some of it the humor you might you might not enjoy, but I mean it's just it's just different. But it's done super well. Like I just don't know. Like he's just he just does it really well. Like I, and I, I dig him. And, oh, and the voice and one of the characters on Flight of the Concord, she plays a character in Bob's Burgers. Um, mm. What's the daughter's name in Bob's Burgers? No the, idea. I haven't watched that show. You haven't seen it? Oh, nope. man. Bob's Burgers is pretty good. <laughs> it's like the voice of Archer in Bob's Burgers. It's pretty good. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, uh, check it out. Uh, so, you know, that's a great piece of promo, like kind of getting out there and yeah. really, right, really like showing like what the character oh, is yeah. doing and amazing. On the flip side of that, we have a terrible piece of promo. <laughs> uh, horrible piece of promo. <laughs> Really horrible. Eric wanted to take it out of the description or our show notes. Yeah. I keep saying description, but it's not a description. It's our <laughs> show notes. Um, but in our show notes, he put uh, the Ghost Rider promo. And, I was, and he was about to take it out because it was terrible. And I was like, no, you leave that in because, because we need you to talk say how about how terrible it is. Yes. Well, dude, you know what? Uh, it, I think it's interesting the fact that they just put it out and it's supposed to be like a teaser, just a taste. Yes. And I'm pretty sure that's what they were talking about. Just like we got some buzz around it. We showed the car at SDS uh, or SDCC and people want to see it. So let's put it out there. But it was more kind of like a found footage type thing. or It was like, yeah, found, sound fo- found cell phone footage. Yeah. But, and, dude. And it's just him peeling out and uh, it's not even like Ghost Rider, like be Ghost like Riding. Any car. Ever like any challenger, like there's yeah. nothing special or particular about it, like nothing at all. Like, how is that Ghost Rider one? Yeah, and two, like, like why even put that piece of promo out there? Yeah, and it was like it wasn't even the car that was on fire. It was there was a flames in front of the camera, and the car yes. was taken off oh. in the other direction. So you really couldn't even tell it was kind of like Ghost Rider esque. I mean, true. Okay, yes, it's the challenger in this in this version, and. Ghost Rider is not riding his motorcycle. He's 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 actually driving the Challenger, like in the newer version of Ghost Rider. So it's not yeah. your traditional. It's not your daddy's Ghost Rider. That's for sure. Not, not if your daddy would ever watch, you know, or you know, <laughs> not even my Ghost Rider because my right. Ghost Rider was PBS. Remember Ghost Rider? That show. Oh <laughs> yeah, good callback. <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, I think I really I, I started reading some of Ghost Rider stuff when they had the Spirit of Vengeance when he did a crossover with Venom. And that was okay. pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of dig that, but um, I haven't read any of this new stuff. It uh, might be good, not too sure, but I, I like that it's different, and they're throwing it in the Marvel U- TV universe. TV universe, yeah, so, not the MTVU, please. Not, the MTVU. The MTVU. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a terrible <laughs> app. Like, it's like it's just an MTVU. iPhone app. MTVU. Get your MTVU. <laughs> yeah. So I can watch Teen Wolf. You know? <laughs> um, oh man! But the, I mean, what? It, I don't know if maybe I've missed one, but that's been the only two pieces of promo, right? There's one that released at SDCC mm-hmm. with the Flaming Skull that to me didn't look good at all. Yeah. And then this thing. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And dude, uh, I have been one of the biggest defenders that I know of the, not the defenders, defenders. Yeah. But <laughs> just a, a defender of uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., man, because I really like that show. The yep. first three seasons for me have been absolutely I don't know if amazing, but they've been they've been absolutely solid in the stuff that they've presented and each each season has gotten better. Um and it is. It, it's TV, it's network TV, it's gonna be a little bit lower budget than what they're doing in the movies and stuff like that. And there's some points that are super cheesy, like when they first show the not first show, when they had Cree, Cree soldiers come down. Um, I'm already ruining it. Sorry, spoilers. <laughs> um, but they literally looked like two guys painted with blue 
mm-hmm. and just kind of like outfitted in like leftover outfits that were like in the back prop shop somewhere. Like and dude, and not <laughs> even okay. So the career is supposed to be an advanced race and something that's bigger, more yeah, powerful. Yeah, yeah. And do they look like two average Joes? <laughs> like maybe they haven't even hit the gym in a little while, <laughs> and that's who they put as like the Cree oh, soldiers. Like man. just a couple of random extras. Like yeah. I was like, dude, why? But even with those faults in it, the stories have been really good. The stories have been really solid. Um, if you can forgive some of that stuff, some of the, the lower budget stuff, some of the cheesy special effects, like it, it's a good show. Like it's, it's a, it's a fun show to watch. Um, and it really does a good job of keeping the story going and keeping you interested with that story. Yeah. Dude, but this stuff coming out, like it, it worries me because they're not doing that with this stuff. They're like, nah. oh, look at all these pretty things. And it's like, dude, that's not what the show's about. Like, the show's really about the stories. So, I mean, I hope they can put a promo out there that's going to be about the stories since we're, I mean, we're into September. Ghost Rider should be coming out soon. Yeah. Like, it's getting ready to, it's getting ready to, to come out for the fall season. They fall need season to give us some kind of like, like less than a month away. They need to give us some really like meaty substance in that promo or something, you know, dude, something. something. Like, get, get, bring, get her faith back. You yes. Know, just, just bring it back. Please, yeah. please, please. Yeah. But, dude, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, I really, 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 really hope that they can just bring it, pull, pull it back around. Bring it back around. Yeah. Because first season, I think the first season was probably the, probably their best season so far. Right. And uh, I mean, although they had some great storytelling in the, in the, in the rest of it, it took me a while to, to burn through some of the rest of it. I'll, I'll admit, <laughs> you know, but I did kind of catch up. Yeah. But uh, you know, I, I hope they do bring it back around. Um, well, I mean, since we're in the the Marvel vein. Uh, a couple things came out recently as well. Uh, James Gunn went on his uh, official f- uh, Facebook page and was talking about some of his frequently asked questions for the new uh, the new movie of uh, yeah. Guardians Two Volume Two. So, uh, like, come of the, some of the kind of main points that he points out. And if you don't want any Guardians Guardians Two news, you, you want to skip this. Um, go ahead and kind of stop at this point. Fast forward maybe a couple minutes, and then. We should be done here. We'll try to get through this fast. Yeah, real quick, <laughs> real quick. Uh, so a couple things to note. Uh, he says that the um, uh, the trailer will drop before the end of the year uh, for Volume 2. So that's okay. pretty amazing. So not just the teaser, but just like the trailer trailer itself. Uh, he says Thanos will not be in this version. Yeah. So, uh, you know, uh, they, they asked about Baby Groot. Uh, Baby Groot will not have... Uh, uh, adult Groot's memories. Apparently, you know, uh, yeah. I guess basically, they, I guess they'll explain it, you know, and, and to see what will kind of happen. Um, but, you know, uh, he won't have his adult size versions of memories. Uh, and the other thing, will the Guardians come out in uh, an Avengers movie? And he says, yes, they will. So, pretty yeah. cool. Pretty yeah. Cool. Uh, so if you want the full list of items that they, they spoke about, you know, we'll, we'll put a link to his, his Facebook page so you can kind of read through the whole thing. Uh, but he, he gives a lot of uh, backstory and detail in there, so I'm pretty excited yeah, about it. Yeah, it's got some cool stuff in there. The one thing that I did realize, or that I hadn't realized that uh, I guess uh, he's been getting a lot of questions on, is who's doing Baby Groot's voice? Oh, I'm still Vin Diesel. Still Vin Diesel. That's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Uh, I'm excited about that. He said he has a, a big range and that uh, Baby Groot's <laughs> voice is within his range. So I think that's pretty interesting to see how it goes. Will he still only say, I am Groot? Yeah. You think so? That's a staple, man. You got to leave that in there. You got to leave it in there. Well, now he has we. Or maybe he doesn't <laughs> because he doesn't remember. Yeah, he said he, we. that's it. That was like the, wow, the whole completion okay. of that character. All right, all right. That's cool. But he can uh, dance, though. Oh, he still got those moves. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so um, with that also, um, uh, a couple other things came out uh, in film news. Uh, so the, the the set for Infinity War has also uh, the, the uh, Avengers Infinity War movie uh, has also started filming. And there's a, uh, a nice little image of uh, Josh Brolin as Thanos. They came out also. Since he's not going to be in the Guardians movie, I guess you got to stick him somewhere. <laughs> so, you know, the Avengers uh, movie, he's in there. And, uh, you know, they, they they already showed them starting to show that. Um, dude, what we, you know, we didn't even talk about, you know, how the Avengers Infinity War Part 1 and Part 2 is now just Part 1. 
part one. But yeah. they said they're still going to do the second one, but just not as, quote unquote, Infinity War. Right, right. It's supposed to be something else. Something Man, else. Some, yeah, something, uh, uh, I don't know, it's supposed to be in that, like, kind of like an introduction introduction to the new Avengers, I guess. Yeah. So yeah. we'll see, like, does everybody die? Is that what everybody happens? dies? Everybody dies. <laughs> uh, starting a whole new timeline. Is there, are they going to X Men it? Like uh, just kind uh, of reset everything. Part one, two, and three didn't exist anymore. <laughs> oh, dude, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe. No, I don't think so. I mean, but that's one of the things, dude. Just with these characters and the way that Marvel has done it over the years. Mm-hmm. Uh, even though some of it hasn't been too permanent. Um, you do get like shift in characters yeah. um, playing these roles, and by roles I mean like playing the roles of Captain America or Iron Man. I mean even in now in the comics, like they're switching out a lot of those people. Like it's yeah. not the same people that are in those uniforms, even though it's the same character name. Um, but I, not, I don't think that's a bad thing, man. Like I, I think it, it helps lend. Since the comics are doing it, it helps lend to the movie universe. Yeah, because in the movie universe, I mean, you know. These guys are gonna get old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I know I'm 34, and I feel like everything's broken inside of me. Yeah. So, like, nothing's it's only working anymore. Because your ankle's anymore. falling apart. I know it, it <laughs> you're falling apart from top, <laughs> from bottom up. From bottom up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. No, I well, think that's it started, a good way it started to start. with my back, so it was like center out. Oh, so. <laughs> middle out. <laughs> middle. <laughs> that's it's a middle. Bad. It's a middle out algorithm. Yeah. It's just getting me, man. <laughs> it's that damn algorithm. <laughs> Uh, that's awesome. Um, oh, um, but also terrible. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, we're the opposite. You are my yin to my yang. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because your ankle got all busted and then my arm got all weird. You see? So, Dang, man. dude. Brothers. Yeah. Cut it out, John. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, the, kind of the, the last bit of news that we have, uh, the Walking Dead comic. We don't talk about the comic enough. Um, but we it's don't. pretty, it's, uh, this last, uh, I guess issue that came out, uh, for the walking dead was, uh, I think 156, uh, or 158, uh, 158. I'm sorry. Yes. Um, and they had a major brutal death in it, you know, not since, uh, issue 100, which season, the last season six just ended on. Um, so, uh, we're coming close to the, to the new season starting, you know, probably like a month and a half out or a month and some change. So you'll get to see who Negan and, uh, uh, Lucille got to get intimate with. Uh, uh so we're waiting to see who that is. Coming up. Is it one person? Is so it two close. people? Is it, is it who, who knows? Who, who, who knows? <laughs> um, but yeah, so in the Walking Dead comic, they're fighting a new foe. And they've just killed a major character as well. Yes. Um, we won't give spoilers out, but... We're going to give some spoilers out. Some, some but not, spo- nothing major. Nothing ma- Like, okay, we're, we're just going to say what happens. But it happens to a major character, and they're fighting a new group of people. You know? Yes. I won't say who's all involved. But they're fighting a new group of people. One of these major characters just happens to fall off a water tower and <laughs> break his leg. And gets gutted by this new villain yep. and then lets the walkers eat him <laughs> yep. like oh man it's super Gruesome. graphic it's super graphic and, you know, I, and the walking dead comic doesn't even have color to it but dude <laughs> if it had color this would be like one of the worst drawings ever <laughs> <laughs> like. oh man so if you so if you want to find it out you can tweet at us. Let us know. We'll, we'll send you. We'll send you the link. We'll yeah. send you the link directly to this article. We're not even going to put a link in the description for yeah. this article. No. So if you want to know, Let you us have know. to reach out. Yes, absolutely. Or you so, can Google it. I mean, oh yeah, either way, either. <laughs> but if you want it straight-ish from the main source, then let us know because <laughs> we didn't we didn't write the comic. You know that. That's yeah, not, we didn't. We, we, yeah. No so we're not. We're, we're the. We're the we're messengers. The, we're the third source town yeah <laughs> <laughs> i think we're further than that john okay, but yeah, you know <laughs> I, mean, I won't even put us that close yeah no it's a whole six degrees of separation thing so 60 <laughs> ish maybe <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so um well i guess like now that most of the we we talked about the sci-fi movies that we enjoy the movies that have passed you know now that we got what's coming up uh dr strange is coming up november uh, I mean, come on, dude. 
You're never going to mention it, right? I'm not even going to say it. it. I am not even going to say it, John. Why not, dude? Because you know how I feel. Mrs. Peregrine's (laughs) Home for Particular Children? I don't like that you enjoy this movie so much and you can't even pronounce the damn name. (laughs) (laughs) It it hurts me. Come on, dude. Miss Miss Peregrine's. (laughs) <laughs> I almost said remix because right you can't even get it out. John's remix of the of the title. Title of the movie. Come on. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no man, for real, dude. Like, I don't know why you enjoy that so much. Like, uh, dude, it's gonna be a good movie. That's why. Uh, Mary Poppins two. Mary Pop- Poppins two. Popping ear. No man. Popping off. Mary, Mary Poppins two. Uh, opening the X Men Institute. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's what it is. Oh, man. It's like, I don't know. I know. You're probably like going to watch that one just because of how much I've talked about it. And I'm uh, not even really – I don't think I'm that excited for the movie. I think I just like poking at you. Yeah, you son of a <laughs> <laughs> but I, I mean, I probably will go watch it just because there's not that many movies coming out between not now at that and time. then. No, no. Um, but, I mean, we, we do have some stuff that's come – like I don't – we don't have anything personally coming out, but – there are some things coming out that uh, you know that will hold us over until then, like uh, Civil War, uh, Captain America: Civil War is coming out next week on Blu-ray, yeah. and you know we didn't even. Um, there's so many like extras and stuff about it, like just the behind-the-scenes stuff and uh, some of the things that have been coming out already because the digital copies are already available to purchase. Yes. Yeah, you know, so you can still get that, but on the 13th they're gonna do the Blu-ray drop. So it looks cool. Yeah. Like, well, I don't know. What, oh, I'll probably get that for sure. Oh, no, for sure. Yeah. You to. Got to do the whole stuff. You yeah. know what, dude? We didn't even talk about this. We should have put it in the news, and I forgot to put it in the news. Hmm. Um, the VFX role for uh, Star Wars Force Awakens. So for, From ILM? Yes. Dude, I just saw that too. Yes. Dude, that looks amazing. It looks freaking cool. Like, just the fact that they're doing, that, or that they put it out there. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I don't know why it wasn't in the Blu ray extras or. or like at least I don't recall seeing it in there. I no. might have done it, but I don't think it was. Um, I gotta go back and check. You're gonna make me look through all my freaking extras now. <laughs> Dude, that's what happens, man. Uh, I don't know, but I watched. I think I watched all the extras, and I don't recall seeing that in there. No. But I mean, either way, like they posted it. They posted it on YouTube, I think. Um, yeah, it's available to the public anywhere. We'll put a link in the description, but. Uh, it's just really cool to see like how many VFX there actually were and what it takes to get like the practical effects mixed in with the like uh, the visual or computer effects, um, digital effects, yep. digital effects. Yep. Boom. <laughs> Nailed it. First try. Um, <laughs> digital effects. Digital effects. <laughs> you have to say it at different pitches. That's what it was going. Okay. On. All right. Yeah. I mean, that, it worked though, right? Yep. <laughs> you got the point across for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, that, so that, I mean that was yeah that was cool man. Um, so I mean, but stuff like that, I, I enjoy watching stuff like that, which is why you know Civil War is a must because I gotta watch those special features. Um, and the movie was good, man. It's such a good movie. Uh, as much as I dislike Captain America in the comic books because of the stuff that happens between the Avengers and the X Men. Like, I really, really like the Captain America movies and stuff like that. I mean, mm-hmm. probably more than anything else. Um, <laughs> maybe Thor. I like the Thor <laughs> stuff that comes out to you. I think it's because I like Thor as a comic book character also. Like, just because he's so ridiculous to me. Like, that's why I was super excited about that stuff that came out on YouTube. Like, where, <laughs> where Thor is at during uh, Civil War. <laughs> uh, but, dude, it's just because, like, <laughs> he's just funny, man. Like, he's, he's really out there as a character. Um, and I think he should be. He's not from this world, and he's kind of goofy. So I think that's fairly appropriate. Anyway, so sorry. Start, sorry to backtrack on topics no, and fine. go backwards. You know what? It's funny that you <laughs> mentioned because I started going back and looking at it, and I think that video that, you were t- that we're talking about came out actually two years ago. What video? Are you talking about the one on YouTube, the the ILM stuff? Yeah. Dude, That it came out two years ago. Nuh-uh. It, there might be a new one. March of 2015. There's got to be a new one. I'm Everybody looking. just started talking about it. I know, which is so weird. It I has feel to like be this new. is incorrect. I, I, I'm trying to make, I it, maybe I'm trying like, to make it correct, John. I think maybe you're like looking at a different video. I feel like that's the case. Like where it's all like... Like everything's falling into place and shit? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let me see. Behind the magic. Oh, no. It just came out two days ago. <laughs> I was looking at the right one. <laughs> You're right. 
That was false. Uh, <laughs> September 6th is when it came out. So that's way not two years ago. Yeah. But totally you know what? not two years ago. Like, on top of that, they also released... Oh, no. F- that was like three months ago. That was, no, okay. This was like six months ago. They did the same thing, and I don't know why we didn't talk about it back then. When did we start this? I don't know. It's like 23 weeks ago. Uh, at least. <laughs> yeah, at least. Dude, they did the same thing for Jurassic World, man, and it looked amazing. Dude, I totally didn't miss that. I don't think we had started the podcast at that point. We didn't, and we probably we're weren't still, even looking for it. And because I don't know why. Fresh. And they did the same thing for the Transformers movies. Dude, we were way behind on this. Yeah, well. Yeah. That just means we need to subscribe, right? Yeah, I already did. Oh, damn it. <laughs> now I'm behind. <laughs> I am subscribed. <laughs> they even showed how they made her um, uh, uh, high heels. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, they didn't do that at all. Super Dude, that's high freaking, heels. freaking hilarious. So that scene in Jurassic World where they're riding on the dinosaurs, like they show the kids like riding on the baby dinosaurs. Oh yeah, yeah. It's they're riding around on people's backs. People, I think I saw that. Dude, I did see that. We just didn't have a podcast to talk about that. Oh stuff. yeah, we were talking about talking about it, but we didn't watch it or see it. <laughs> that's pretty legit though. Dude, that, that's pretty cool. I like it. Really good. Yeah. Dude, I'm okay. I'm putting that in there right now. As we speak. Dude, and you know what? That'll be stuff to watch between now and some of these fall movies coming out. Yeah. Especially S- since you're not going to watch uh, Miss Peregrine's Home for Particular Shh, Children. Don't watch that movie. <laughs> Please. Actually, you know what? If it's good and it's something different and new, let's yeah, I'm I'm all about it. Like let, let's let's get some new stuff out there. I almost want to go watch it opening night just to spite what? you, what the? John. <laughs> just like Thursday night, just Ugh. go out to the movies. I am not enjoying this conversation at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a blast. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I know about. you're really enjoying this. You broke ankles all shaking because you're laughing so hard. <laughs> That's what it does, man. RLS, dude. Yeah, RLS. I think I got it from you. It's yeah, contagious or something. Your RLS is flaring up. <laughs> but yeah, it oh, has all kinds uh, of flares, dude. Um, so on top of that, while we're looking at viewing stuff, uh, RAQ, uh, the new ARQ, net- ARQ, R A. What did I say? R-A-Q. R-A-Q. I wasn't even looking at it. <gasps> I got dyslexia. That's how I found out. <laughs> now we know. Now we know. That's what's wrong with me the entire time. I didn't even know. <laughs> um, oh. <laughs> Bong. <laughs> Knocking it to the mic. <laughs> That's uh, the other thing you do really well. Yeah, so. I know. <laughs> Two things. Uh, so R-A-Q, like I said. Uh, <laughs> Damn it. Okay. So what about ARQ? ARQ, yeah. So Netflix, looking like they're going for, I don't know, what is it called? The Not the double dribble, but what is it called when two things are really good in succession? Um... Uh, I was gonna say hat trick, but that's after three. That's three. So that's maybe the double play. Yeah, you could, let's do the double play. The on double that. play, or they're doubling down. No, Ooh, they're not man, doubling man. down. No, but um, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so ARQ is a a new Netflix. I think it's it says it's coming to theaters, which is weird, but it's by Netflix. It should be coming to Netflix. Yeah, so it's just right, a, yeah. a a movie that Netflix is putting out, not a series, but a movie. 138 minutes. 128 minutes. It's an hour and 28 minutes long. <laughs> I don't think that's what that means. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I don't think I don't think that means what you think it means. <laughs> You're definitely slightly wrong on that, but it's okay. It's 88 minutes long. That's true. That is true? Yes. It's an hour and 28 minutes. Okay. So 88 minutes. 88 minutes. New math right there. Right. Uh, so um, it's basically a time travel show or movie. I keep calling it a show because it's coming out on Netflix. I know, but it's, I know. Uh, it's tripping me and out. And the fact that they do movies, too, is kind of... I know. It's that's, okay. I mean, which, I mean, they can do it that way. Just cause, Man, they just, they're just doing so much. And I know that they can because I know that my subscription just went up in price. I don't know if yours did. Yeah, I did. Like two bucks. And I was like, <laughs> <Right>. what the <laughs> hell? I, did, I thought I was paying 12 bucks. Apparently, I'm only paying nine ninety nine. So I was like, oh, okay, this isn't as bad because I already thought I was paying more. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so it's basically like 
this couple's trapped in a lab that's also trapped in a time loop, apparently. So it's right. them just trying to figure it out and fight off of these people that keep interrupting their... It's like Groundhog's Day, but like intense. Right. Like if Groundhog's Day wasn't a comedy. And scary. And, and scary. <laughs> Why was Groundhog Day scary? No, no. If it... What? No. Sorry. <laughs> if it wasn't... What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> I said if Groundhog's Day wasn't a comedy, and you said and scary and scary, like oh, like it is scary. Yes, like, exactly. This show like is this scary. show. Would, oh, okay. Yes, I thought you were saying Groundhog's I mean, dude, Day is scary, <laughs> and I was like, how is Groundhog's Day scary? I love how you figured out what I meant the second you said it back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, so no, it, it's pretty much that. Um, fill in. Uh, poor man's Taylor Lautner uh, instead of Bill Murray. And oh. then... Uh, Dude, and Arrow himself, man. Stephen Amell. Oh, that's him? Yeah. He looks way different. I guess uh, I didn't notice him without the green hood. <laughs> it takes the green hood to relieve. Dude, it's not it's Stephen Amell. Amell. It's not Stephen Amell? It's Robbie Amell. Oh, okay. His cousin. <laughs> His cousin? Yeah. No, you- I'm, I'm, I'm not being... Like You're I'm not, not joking. Funny. I'm not being facetious. It's like his, it's his cousin. It's his legit cousin. <laughs> like, you gave me that look. Like, dude, like shut you, up. You shut your <laughs> dirty, dirty freaking mouth. <laughs> I know you're looking it up. <laughs> well, no. Okay, so no. Wait, because it says Robbie Amell is in in the Flash. Who's Stephen Amell then? It, it's Stephen Amell is Arrow. Okay, who's Robbie Amell? Robbie Amell, he's in The Flash. He's mostly in The Flash. I think I don't know if he had any For crossover what? episodes, um, but uh, he's he plays Firestorm in oh. Flash. Yeah. Okay. I'll believe you just because I don't watch it. <laughs> it looks similar, dude. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I was I like, tell you were like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Like <laughs> you get after me for dad jokes, like, and that was right up there with the, that, that dad joke. But I was being a proponent of truth, uh, man. Yeah, you were, you were pillar of the community. You are, John. <laughs> that uh, I know I'm not. No, That's no, okay. No, false. Um, but yeah, it looks good. Um, Dude, that's so funny. And then this other site just mentioned, like, <laughs> Robbie Amell is in a sci-fi Groundhog's Day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we, that, we said it first. Though. We said it first, though. We didn't right even here. look. <laughs> we just saw the trailer. We thought it looked amazing, and thought it was Groundhog's Day too. So it's a it's a sentiment felt by most, right? Uh, so I'm excited about it, dude. It looks cool. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I mean, it's gonna be free, basically. It's on Netflix. I'm paying for a subscription for Netflix. I've already paid for this movie. So, so true. why it's, not watch it's, it? It's not right? free. It's not free at all. Okay, you've, you've well, paid it's for not it. free. Yeah, I've been slowly paying for it with my subscription. Yeah. But I'm gonna watch it. Okay. I mean, what, it's cool. I'm, I'm, what, what do you think fun. is your favorite uh, time travel movie? Oh, jeez. Uh, does Matrix count? <laughs> time Not a time movie? travel movie. Get, get off the Matrix, man. I know it turned into your top pick of sci-fi movies, but <laughs> get off Miss Peregrine and get off the Matrix. Oh, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I don't think I could ever get off the Matrix. That one... I know, I know. It's amazing. But it is. It's amazing. Um, I'm really upset that you're not even thinking about the blatant best time travel movie of all time. What's the blatant best time travel Dude, movie? Back to the Future, man. Come okay, on. Okay, yeah. No, that was like the, I'm going to say yeah because I don't really mean it. Ugh, John, <laughs> you're really, really. I feel like there's got to be better out there. Maybe okay, it's because I'm, okay. I'm trying to think and maybe I'm, I'm not thinking. I know, right I, know I, I threw it on you out of the blue. It was totally out of left field. But right, yeah. Okay, so, so time travel movies that I'm thinking about. Are like uh, Time Cop, <laughs> Time Cop okay. with uh, JCVD, Jean Claude Van Damme for you. Um, <laughs> uh, what other time travel movies? Oh, The Butterfly uh, Effect. I don't oh, know if you Butterfly saw that. Effect is a really good one. Yeah, even though it has super major plot holes, but I mean, it's yeah. still it's still a pretty good watch. Part two and three were terrible, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I've never watched them. That yeah, <laughs> neither neither of I. I started watching one on Sci Fi Network, and I was like, oh wait, no, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I thought this was the first one. Um, which other ones? What other good time movies are there? Uh, can I can I search by time travel movies or what is sure. it? Sure, I'm sure Google will tell you something about that. Time. Oh, okay. Looper. Totally forgot about Looper. Dude, Looper. I haven't seen it. 
Are you serious? I, it's on my list. Dude, Looper's not great. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> After you just got super excited about it. Actually, I, I really I, I like... Um, uh, I'm a big fan of uh, Bruce Willis and right. of... Has three names. Joseph Gordon Levitt. Yes, <laughs> there you go. that's the one. <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I forgot about Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Dude. An excellent adventure. Yes. I like Bogus Journey better. I don't know why, but I do. Um, I get them confused all the time in my head. Okay, Bogus Journey is where they play the death for uh, their oh, life. Oh, yeah. That was pretty good. Yeah. Maybe because they have the evil Bill and Ted. And they make the robot us's. Yes, yes, the robotuses are awesome. And Station. Dude, Station. <laughs> station is amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, dude, that is a good one. 12 Monkeys. 12 Monkeys, did you ever see 12 Monkeys? I don't think I saw 12 Monkeys. Bruce Willis also. Pretty good. I'm Maybe not gonna... I saw that one. I feel like I saw that one a lot. Brad, Brad Pitt. Brad time Pitt ago. and his crazy, like, uh, the end of the world is coming. We got to stop it, you know? Yeah. So they send him back in time. And then they send him too far back. They send him to, like, the Civil War. And uh, a, a, there's, like, a snapshot or something. Or not the Civil War, but, like, World War One or something like that. And uh, they take a picture of him. Like, he's, like, in a, in a bunker somewhere, and they're like, holy shit, who's this guy? You know, whatever. <laughs> and then he snaps back, and so it's crazy. Oh, Donnie Dark was on the list, too. I just gave you that movie, so I'm not going to even ask you about it, yeah, because I know yeah. you're going to watch it I, soon. I still haven't watched it. I know you haven't. I know you haven't. <laughs> uh, Terminator. Terminator, the first Terminator. Oh, that, can be, that can qualify, right? Yeah. Dude, Source Code? Did you ever see Source Code? I feel like I have. Uh, the Jake Gyllenhaal and uh, oh, I really, oh, yeah. I really like her. Uh, what's her name? I don't remember. But you know who I'm talking about. I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah, she's wait, maybe a, not. Uh, Michelle Monaghan. Yeah, I don't know her name. Yeah. <laughs> if you saw, if you saw, things. if I saw her picture, I'm sure I'll be like, yes, yeah. that one. Yeah. And uh, I know who you're talking about now. Yeah. Oh, damn it! Another one. It's tomorrow. Oh, that can definitely qualify as a time travel movie. Yeah, for sure. If that qualifies, Matrix qualifies also. So No, it doesn't. <laughs> it does not. It's false. False, false, false. Um, but yeah, so definitely... Oh, well then, it, uh, definitely top of the list has to be um, uh, Back to the Future. And then I'll say uh, Live, Die, Repeat. And... The Matrix. Nope. I'll even throw uh, I'll throw a wrench in that plan. I'm going to say uh, Days of Future Past. X-Men Days of Future Past. That's not a time travel movie. It's a movie, time though. travel movie. Would, when, okay. Time travel. <laughs> <enough>. <laughs> they travel back in time. When else does he get there? Uh, because if you... if In the comics, it's not time travel. It's alternate dimension. So I see it as an alternate dimension movie, not a time travel movie. Oh, did they tell him that they went into an alternate dimension? So, hey, we're going to send you to this alternate dimension, Wolverine. Okay, bub, I totally understand. <laughs> no, that's not what happened. We're going to send your ass back in time. Yeah. You're going to be a younger you. Plow this mobster's daughter or Yeah, whatever. but what happens <laughs> when he comes back? Uh, Jean Grey's alive. Everything is different. <laughs> Everything is different. So it's not... So an it's an alternate, alternate dimension. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's an alternate. It's a, like an alternate universe. False, dude. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna be so mad. You could be mad. Get you all the X Men comics. You can <laughs> read it and see what I'm talking about. But anyway, that's fine. You can not, get, I'm, I'm gonna allow you to give right. me all the X Men comics, because but we're not talking about the comics. You're right. You are very, very correct. It is about the movie. So, <laughs> but either way, still not the best one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, true, true. Still pretty good though. Still it's, one of, it was, still it was one of my good. Favorites. I like that. I definitely like that better than I liked Apocalypse. So yeah. Um, Dude, speaking so, of Apocalypse, it's coming out what two weeks from now? Yeah, that one too. Age That's of Apocalypse. Good. Yeah. Or X Men Apocalypse, not even Age of Apocalypse. X Men, Age of Apocalypse. Apocalypse. It's not Age of Apocalypse. X Men Apocalypse, you're right. It was going to be Age of Apocalypse, but they changed it because they don't Age of Extinction to... was coming out also, and they didn't. I just think they didn't want people to think like, oh, it's the same thing as the comics because it's true. never the same thing as the comics. That's very true. Are you going to buy Age of Apocalypse or X Men Apocalypse? Oh yeah, on Blu-ray, for sure. 
I'm still thinking about it. Really? Yeah. You didn't like it that much? Well, because <sighs> I know you really hated Olivia Munn, one. Dude, I, I still hate her. <laughs> I know you do. But um, really? Olivia Munn aside, I think that uh, – no, I think it's still good. I'm going to buy it. Yeah. I think it's just thoughts that come through my head. Like I, I keep thinking – I keep going back. and It's the same stupid thoughts that I probably shouldn't be having because I'm just one man and I will not make a difference. But I keep thinking, I'm just going to boycott it because it's time that they cut this crap out and get on to proper good X-Men movies. And I feel like it's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. And then I'm going to go out they're there, already, I'm going to buy the Blu-ray, and then they're going to keep making more of this crap. Well, I mean, it, they're already talking about the next one, which is going to be in the 90s with Mr. Sinister. So that's <sighs> it's out there. And I, and I say, ah, uh, because... I want it to be good, but I feel like I'm going to be let down. I hope I hope I'm not. I really hope one of these days I can just completely eat my words and have to completely apologize yeah. to everybody at Fox because they're going to put no, out something amazing. No, they're still responsible for Wolverine, X Men Origins, so Ugh. you don't have to apologize. So and Fantastic Four and Fantastic Four and Fant Four Stick. <sighs> can I and stop? Rise of the Silver Surfer? Rise of the Silver Surfer, yeah. I remember seeing like a DVD awful. on TV where they had the guy who played the Silver Surfer, and they're like, "Hey, we're gonna bring out the surfboard. Can you see how far you can lean?" <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, uh, that's terrible, yeah. terrible, terrible, terrible. Anyway, right on. well, yeah, yeah I, I, well, I mean, that we, pretty we, much we, wraps we, it up. I mean, we kind of wanted to go over some uh, stuff coming out on Netflix soon, um, along with that ARQ stuff. But there's there's a lot of stuff coming out. We're just gonna be watching a, a ton of Netflix probably yeah. the next few weeks. Um, especially because Eric won't come see uh, Mrs. Peregrine's Home for Particular Children with me. That's correct. So maybe I'll just have to watch it and do a review. And I edit this thing, so it's not like you can stop me. <laughs> so. Damn it. <laughs> But yeah, we'll we'll uh we'll kind of we'll, we'll think of some stuff. Uh, but we we just you know we, we like to converse with you guys, even though you guys can't talk back to us. Mm-hmm. We we like talking to you. So <laughs> we, we hope you guys will come back next week and we'll talk some more. Yeah, right on. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, we'll probably be watching a lot of Netflix. Maybe we'll talk about a few of the things we've been watching and uh, a few things that maybe you guys should check out. Um, maybe that aren't so so popular on Netflix, or maybe stuff that really is popular on Netflix. Maybe you didn't know it was on Netflix and. Maybe you should check it out with us uh, while we wait for some of these other movies to come out the rest of the fall. Right on, man. Where can uh, they find us? Until then, you can find us on Twitter. Uh, it's twitter.com slash Kenobi's Corner. <laughs> I looked it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, and we'll always put a link in the, descript- in the description as well. But uh, uh, that's just Twitter user at Kenobi's Corner. Uh, we're on SoundCloud. Uh, so at soundcloud.com slash Kenobi's Corner as well. Uh, if you look for us on iTunes uh, or the google play store um uh just under the podcast section in both of those places uh just search kenobi's corner you should be able to pull us up pretty quick in case you want us to uh, or you want to listen to us in a different venue than what you've been listening to us before uh also if you want anything else that's different uh maybe use another podcast app that we're not on or podcasting service um let us know and we'll do our best to try to get on there so yeah. just want to throw that out there I was going to start uh, putting us on YouTube as well. I'm really going to do it this time. Well, like you made the Facebook page? Just like the Facebook page. So awesome. Maybe in the next couple weeks we'll see. We still don't have a Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> We're right on. Well, until then, thanks again for hanging out with us. Have a great one.